What's up people? In this video, we're going to take a look at some budget trail cams by Wild Game Innovation. We're going to look at the Terra 10. Alright guys, so I want to do a video on a game camera. This one is the Terra 10 and it's by Wild Game Innovations. Now, the reason why I want to do a video on this is because I just recently picked this up for $35 at Walmart, um, which I don't think is a bad deal at all. I've used uh, Wild Game Innovation cameras in the past. I'm not sure what model this one is, but I've had this one for about three or four years, and uh, it's been a pretty good camera. Uh, just last season, a couple of LED lights actually went out. So the night pictures aren't as great, but the daytime pictures are still perfectly fine. Um, so this camera was well worth the money. I think I spent 40 bucks at, for this one at the end of the season. Um, but anyways, some of the specs on this camera is it's supposed to be 10 megapixels. Uh, the flash range is supposed to be 60 foot. And trigger speed is less than one second. Um, it's got 21 LEDs and takes an SD card. Battery life is up to a year, 30,000 pictures. Uh, the batteries are double A's that it takes. It takes eight of them. Um, and these cameras do last a while. It seems like majority of cameras these days last a while. Um, I usually can put um, one set of fresh double A's in any of my cameras and they'll last practically the whole season. Um, for sure the whole season, almost the whole year, um, taking pictures. So I don't usually have a problem. I might have to switch them out. If I, for the whole year, I might have to switch them out one time. So definitely efficient with the batteries. Um, it comes with a couple bungee cords. I'm not impressed with the bungee cords. They're actually pretty short. So you're not really going to get this around a good sized tree unless maybe you double them up. Um, as you can see, it's actually got little hooks in the camera right there where you hook it around and then put it around the tree. But like I said, unless it's a pretty small tree, you're going to have to use these hooks right here, which I'm assuming this could be also be used for a belt if you have any type of uh, belt type straps. Um, but as you'll see later in the video, I actually just put two of these together and then put it around larger trees. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't think it's a bad idea to actually maybe get another set of bungee cords for yourself. You can go to Home Depot or Harbor Freight and get some that are a little bit longer so you won't have a hard time putting that around a thicker tree. It also comes with the little instruction manuals. Um, now this is a pretty basic model. You're not gonna get a lot of features for this camera. It's just gonna be the basic features on the bottom here, the way this flips open is it's just got a little latch that you pop open and then the bottom. And that's where you put the batteries, SD card, and you got four buttons here for the menu. It's pretty straightforward. Hold the power button on and then you get your LCD display there. Um, right now it's flashing because there's no SD card in there. I can grab an SD card real quick and uh, put it in there. SD card goes in the bottom here. Let's make sure you put it in the right way. Hit the power button again. And now it comes up with the display. No issues. Um, I already set the time on this. It is 8.25 p.m. You can go through. Hit the enter button. And that's how you set your time. It also allows you to set the date. And the year. Um, it goes to photos, which allows you to tell, me, tell you how many photos you have in there. Show you that real quick. So right there it says I have 19 photos. Hit it again. 
then it goes to the image and the image you can either pick still or video um, and that's pretty much all the options you got um, it does have in the corner there a battery icon so you can see if your batteries are full half or empty um, it's got the LEDs up here and the sensors and then the camera lens but all in all it's just a straightforward basic camera nothing special um, but for 35 bucks um, I don't really think you can beat it you can't set the picture mode to one two or three picks it's just one pick and I'm pretty sure it resets for 30 seconds and then it'll take another pick um, these cameras are usually pretty good use for areas where you have a feeding area, a water area, somewhere where deer aren't going to be walking right by um, just because of the fact that there's a pause for 30 seconds before it shoots the next picture. Your uh, picture quality is going to be 10 megapixels and if you're shooting in video you're going to get 480p. Also it takes up to a 32 gigabyte SD card. Um, if you put anything bigger in there it's probably going to give you an error so you can put anything 32 gigs or smaller in it and it'll work fine all right so I took this out and I um, actually took some day pictures some day video and some night pictures and some night video and uh, I'm going to show you that to you guys right now all right guys we're outside I'm in a park I'm going to mount the game camera up to this tree right here and I'm going to do some uh, test pictures. Just something real quick, a couple tips. This tree is about an average sized tree. And I had to actually double up the bungee cords, as you can see to get it to go around so if you're trying to get the tree or the camera around a tree that big or anything bigger than say a telephone pole you're uh you're gonna have to opt and get some uh, different bungee cords to, or some straps to get around it but i'm gonna walk out here about 20 30 feet See if this camera can pick up some uh, pictures. All right, guys, just another quick tip. You're not going to want to point your uh, trail camera towards the sun. Um, you'll get a lot of false pictures taken and video taken. So always face it with its back to the sun. All right, guys, now I'm going to switch it to video so we can get some video clips of it. All right, guys. So all in all, I don't think this is a bad camera. Um, it's a it's a good budget camera uh, for 35 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks. You really can't beat it. 
Um, these also can be used for security purposes. If you don't want to um, go ahead and buy a high dollar security uh, camera for your house, or if you got a cabin up north and you want some, I've actually put these up around the cabin because I've had uh, problems up there. And um, if this gets stolen, I'm not gonna be too hurt about it since this was 35 bucks. But um, you guys also can use these for like security purposes if you'd like. Um, so it's not just for hunting and um, scouting. But all in all, look. Take a look at your uh, local Walmarts if you guys are interested. Like it says, they have them around 35 bucks. You probably can go to Walmart.com too and check it out there. Um, 35 bucks, not too bad of a deal. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe. Leave your comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later.